How's it going, tiny little hot dog cuties? Ben here, and today we're going to be doing something super, super fun. We're going to be playing a medical terminology quiz game. Believe it or not, medical terminology is not a class that we take in medical school. So I'm interested in seeing how my performance is going to be as a medical student. This is going to be a super fun time. We're going to see how we do. I might embarrass myself a little bit because of my lack of um, knowing how to pronounce or spell certain words, but this is all in good fun. And you might also be wondering right now, Ben, why are you wearing a beanie indoors? And that's because my hair is kind of crazy. As you have known, I just got a, got a beard trim right now, but like, I still need to trim my hair and it looks crazy. I'll take it off if you guys want me to. It looks really crazy right now. So I need to trim the sides. So before that, I am going to uh, wear this beanie hat to save myself out of embarrassment. So, we are going to play this medical terminology game and we're going to get started. So right now we are in the title screen of the game. So we'll see how we do. Let's get started. Let's like, like let's not let's not even look at anything. Let's just let's just get down to the nitty-gritty of how we end up how I end up doing in this in this game. Okay. Ooh, there's actually a lot of games here, so we'll play one of each for a little bit and see how we do. There's a medical terminology quiz. I think I'll do fairly well in that. The medical picture quiz. I took anatomy last year, so if I haven't forgotten most of what I learned last year, I'll still do well in this. Anagram. Have fun rearranging letters. That sounds like to be the most complicated one. And spelling, which is not my strongest suit. I did the spelling bee in um, elementary school, and I bombed that. Like I, I was like my my teacher had so many high expectations for me, but I ended up I always end up doing really bad in spelling for some reason. So let's get started with the medical terminology quiz. What is the name given to the tip of the heart? I believe that is the apex. Let's see. Oh, it's in here. Okay, that's the apex. Okay. What is the abbreviation for hemoglobin? Oh, that's easy. That's H, capital H. And lowercase b, the abbreviation for body mass index, that's BMI, there you go, diagnosis is the abbre abbreviation for diagnosis, <laughs> okay, what is the term, B BMR is basal metabolic rate, wow, and we got 100%, nice, alright, let's go to the next one, so, Turns out that we do get a bit of medical terminology in medical school, but it's not a formal medical terminology class. So props to everyone who's currently doing a medical terminology uh, course in undergrad or in some sort of post back or master's program, because it's actually pretty hard to understand the terms if you don't understand the function. And in medical school, we have to learn the function and the term. So I'm pretty sure you guys have to have some form of basic knowledge of the function as well which requires a lot of memorization. So props on you guys who are in a medical terminology program. All right, let's go to the next one. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. Strength of pulse is known as, ooh, amplitude. I believe it's amplitude, yes. Antiseptic um, is a growth inhibiting agent. Reaction. Oh, no, 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 that's treatment. I believe it's treatment. Ooh, this is a hard one. Let's go with treatment. Okay. Toxic shock syndrome is caused by uh, tampons, and the reason why is because uh, if you leave your tampons on for too long, and usually it's not a problem nowadays, but certain bacteria will de develop something called super antigens and lead to complete shock throughout your body, which can be very, very, very deadly. So it's tampons. Systolic blood pressure is measured when... Ooh, systole. I believe it's the lub. Yeah, it's the first heart sound. There's only two heart sound, love and the dub. So there's no, no third heart sound at all. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Protrusion of the eyeball is called, I believe it's called exophthalmos. There it is. Okay, pruritus is used when someone has a, ooh, I believe it's itching. This is a hard one because in medical school, whenever we see pruritus, we immediately think rash, inflammation, and itching. So this is asking specifically what pruritus is. I believe it's itching, but we'll see. Oh, okay, awesome. What is tachycardia? Tachycardia means an increase in heart rate. A decrease in heart rate would be bradycardia. And a decrease in respiratory rate is, I believe, um... Ooh. 
I I actually don't remember that one. Decrease in oh fuck, I forgot I meant to I meant to put increase in heart rate. Um Raynaud sign is when there is blueness of the extremities. A lot of people with systemic lupus erythematosus uh, and rheumatoid arthritis get this. And that's because your blood vessels will uh, vasospasm uh, in your fingertips, leading to uh, poor blood flow to your extremities. Average normal blood pressure is usually 121 over, 120 over 80. See, you guys are also learning a lot from me. Uh, with this game, so this is actually super cool. All right, we'll go to the next one. What is PCV? I don't actually know this one. I believe uh, let's go with packed cell volume. That's the one that makes the most sense. All right, awesome. Bluish discoloration of the skin. That's known as cyanosis. The medical, the medial chest bone. The medial chest bone. What? Medial chest bone. Okay, so the, it's not the, okay, the humerus is like your, this area, so that wouldn't be it. The sternum, oh, it's probably the sternum, that's what it's asking for. It's a, like a really weirded way to ask that question. Unilateral paralysis affecting one side of the body is called, that's called hemi, hemiplegia, hemi meaning half. Awesome, we got it, we got it. The term hyper in medical term Hyper usually means a lot, so when the, someone says hyperplasia, that means a lot of cells has been growing, so it means increase or excessive. Damn, we're doing great. We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. We're doing great, guys. Except for that one question that I missed because I tapped the wrong answer. Alright, let's keep going. Blood in the urine is called hematuria. Heme meaning blood, and uria, or with the uria at the end, means urine so it's hematuria oliguria is as you've seen in the third answer choice means loss of fluid in your in your urine so that means you're you're dehydrated or, or something similar to that the term itis refers to inflammation whenever you say inflammation you mean itis the outer layer of the heart i believe is called the epicardium and it's on here which is great the study of tissues is called histology we got this, guys. We got this. Glucose in the urine is, I believe, it's called glycosuria. Again, glyco meaning sugar and urea meaning urine. Makes a lot of sense when you start le learning the root words. So if you are in a medical terminology class, a great way to like do really well, even if you have no idea what the question is asking, is look at the root words and you might end up coming to the answer. Accumulation of a blood in a joint is called... That's called, ooh. Oh, that's hemarthrosis. Heme meaning blood. Arthrosis meaning the joints. Arth. That's why when someone has arthritis, it's inflammation of the joints. A woman who has never been pregnant is called a... I believe that means nulli gravida. Nulli meaning none. And gravida meaning birth, so no births. Okay, awesome. Removal of the bladder is usually um, called a cholecystectomy. There it is. Red blood cell count is really easy. It's RBC. Oh, they want to know the actual name of a red blood cell. That's called an erythrocyte. Voiding of urine is called... Ooh. It's micturition. This one almost got me. This one almost got me. All right, let's go to the next one. We're actually flying by this. Maybe we can, maybe what we'll do for this video is like finish this entire one and then we'll go back and do the other ones sometime later in my other videos. Okay, air in the chest card cavity. It's usually called a pleural, ooh, no, I'm not, I'm wrong. It's actually a pneumothorax. That pneumo meaning air, thorax meaning in the chest. Hemothorax means blood bronchitis is something completely different it's something that smokers usually have um, sometimes non-smokers will have it but it's with because of chronic inflammation to the bronchial tree in your lungs so it's pneumothorax mandible is your jaw the medical term for headache ooh I actually did never learned this in medical school but I'm pretty sure the answer is cephalgia algia meaning pain and ceph meaning head. 
Awesome. Anterior is usually for the front of the body. Very easy. I'm sure all of you guys have gotten that right when you saw the question. A valve present in the right side of the heart is called, okay, so the one way we learn um, heart ones is called all physicians take money. So all meaning aorta, um, physician meaning pulmonary, take means a tricuspid, and money meaning mitral. So the right side of the heart is this side. So that would be, oh, shit. I ran out of time. No, <laughs> no, I ran out of time. I was too busy explaining what each valve was. But the mitral and tricuspid valve are bicuspid, and the aortic and pulmonary valve are um, tricuspid, also known as semilunar valves. But it's okay. We still got 80%. We're doing great. And we get an ad. Okay, next one. The medical term for abnormal here hardening. Abnormal hardening? Whew. I'm going to go with sclerosis, but stenosis is a pretty good, um, like, I would have picked that as well if I felt confident about it. Thrombus usually means a blood clot. That's why a uh, blood clot in the leg is called a DVT, deep vein thrombosis. Accumulation of fluid in tissue spaces, that's called an edema. Excuse me, edema. Herd immunity is when enough people... Uh, are vaccinated so that people who are unvaccinated are still immune unfortunately because a lot of mothers are not uh, mothers are not vaccinating their children this is going away really quickly nowadays but it's a reduction in the probability of infections in non-immunized people vertigo usually means a spinning sensation like when you get super dizzy Awesome, we're doing great. We're running through this so quickly. Oh, unlock all levels. No, screw that. We're not going to do that. That's like, I hate it when like apps try to make money that way. So we'll, we'll just go to the next game. We'll do the medical picture quiz and see how we end up doing. So I just skipped through like this video a little bit ahead because to tell you guys that the medical picture quiz and the medical anagram ones are really, really like word puzzles and I'm not here to do that I'm here to test my knowledge so we're gonna skip those two and go to medical spelling to see how good my spelling is and this might be super embarrassing if I get them wrong so let's go ahead and do some of these and we'll call it a day correct the select the correct spelling alopecia or alopecia I believe it has one L okay all right cool um adolescent okay that's the second one it just looks right to me the next one, oh, it's probably the second one. Oh, I don't have a lot of time to answer these. Okay, oh, Alzheimer is the first one, for sure. Damn, that was really, really quick. Oh, I got 60%. Okay, thanks, thanks, bro. I got two wrong because I probably didn't select the answer in time. All right, next. All right, we'll go super, super quickly, and I won't try to give an explanation, really. All right, let's go. So the correct spelling, analyze, analyze, analyze. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, the first one, okay. Select the correct spelling, a aneurysm, okay. Got that. Uh, I believe it has two R's. Okay, great. What? Why 60? Is it only letting me do up till 60%? That's weird. Uh, I believe this is oscillation, the number one one. Uh, callus is two L's for sure. Catheter has an E, not an A. Aphyxia doesn't have a F. Uh, a systole only has one S. All right, cool. Now we're. That was really weird. That like it wasn't giving me. It was only giving me sixty percent, even though I was right, huh? Uh oh, I don't know this. I don't know this at all. Okay, okay, okay. That was wrong. Okay. <laughs> uh, cirrhosis has two R's for sure. Chicken po chicken pox. <laughs> Decubitus. What? Oh yeah, I did get that wrong. Okay, I, I am not. I'm not angry about that. Uh, dilation, dilatation, dilatation, dilatation. Diaphoresis. Only one R. Diaphragm. Okay. Diabetes. Mellitus. Diabetes. Mellitus. Okay. Cool. Cool. 
It's interesting that they put the two words together like that. Yes. Eczema. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, diphtheria. There you go. Diaphtheria. Epididymis has a Y. Illicit, I believe, two L's. Oh, no, it's only one L. Okay, 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 only one L. Uh, gangrene. Flaccid, ooh, flaccid, two, uh, two, two, okay, awesome, awesome. Fascia is always one A. Gauge, okay, okay, okay. Gallbladder, two. Dang, I really need to make sure my spelling is correct whenever I write my notes or when I do my clinical years because my attending will not be happy with me if I end up spelling things as badly as I'm doing here. Um, hemorrhoid, okay, 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 okay. Humerus, okay, okay, okay. Hemoptosis, that means blood in your uh, cough. Hygiene, easy. Gonorrhea has two, gonorrhea. I always say it like that, gonorrhea, and you'll always get it right. All right, I guess um, I'm at the paywall right now, even though like they need to fix their app because the first two quizzes that I did, like it gave me 60% even though I got every single question right, uh, except for that one that I like was too late for. But this was really fun to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me. Uh, tune in next time, maybe we'll do something like this again. We'll play another medical game. I'm thinking about, eventually, I do have a gaming computer that will play video games, like not just app games, video games related to medical things, so just video games in general for your entertainment. Uh, but right now, I, I still need to get like a light to shine on my face whenever um, I video record or when I'm playing a video game. And I, still, I need the time for that too as well, because I am a medical student, huh? What do you know? I never have time for anything. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram, I always, always update my Instagram with things that I'm doing in my life. And on Twitter, I always update with really funny tweets and retweet funny stuff, hopefully. So, until next, guys, this is Ben. I love you guys. Have a great one.